Some see what we do as antiquated, old-fashioned and out of touch. They see something that is far removed from their own reality, a world in which they themselves consume food that is processed and mass-produced, a world that is dependent on intensive farming practices, practices that require a conveyor belt of animals to be killed in abattoirs and slaughterhouses. In fact, it seems to me that as we drive toward environmental sustainability, it's not these individuals that hold the high moral ground. It is us hunters. We're not behind the curve in our way of life. We're ahead of it. We engage with the countryside. We harvest wild, sustainable food from its natural environment. We fulfill a crucial role in improving biodiversity and facilitate reforestation plans and rewilding projects. I'm not alone in this opinion. Over the last decade, I've witnessed an explosion in the popularity of deer stalking. The concept of hunting and harvesting one's own meat from the wild is proving increasingly appealing, not just to meat eaters who want to reconnect with what they're putting in their bodies, but amongst vegans and vegetarians, many of whom admit a begrudging respect for the choice that we make to sympathetically harvest our own food. There's also been recognition that I believe reached a high point during the COVID outbreak, that by switching off our phones and stepping out of the towns and cities, away from the hustle and bustle of our busy lives, and by reconnecting with nature, we're able to improve our mental health. Of course, I embrace this dawning realization that hunters are not the problem, that we haven't got things wrong, that our way of life is not antiquated or part of a bygone era but that it is instead an example of what we should be doing, re-engaging with our roots, steering away from intensively farmed food. Perhaps if our critics would step back and examine their beliefs, they might realize that by re-engaging with what we did as hunter-gatherers in the past, we're able to step more boldly and confidently into a sustainable future. However, whilst I note with great pleasure the increasing popularity of hunting, the challenge, I think, will be to maintain a sustainable balance between supply and demand. That is to say, I hope that we will find a Goldilocks zone between the increasing popularity of deer stalking and the deer population itself.
Currently, the high number of deer in the UK should meet the reasonable expectations of a growing number of recreational deer stalkers. Indeed, in some areas, there is an abundance of supply. However, as the number of new hunters come to the sport increase, this will eventually have an impact on the number of deer there are to stalk, notwithstanding any changes to legislation that DEFRA plan to make in the coming months. In truth, it's the legislative changes that are my greatest concern. I recognise that deer numbers are currently too high. However, it's my view that changes should be implemented gradually with a little tinkering. However, man, and especially politicians who must demonstrate quick results, are impatient beasts. And so my fear is that change will be sought too hastily. And as such, the pendulum may swing rapidly from one extreme to another. Only time will tell. For now, the sheer demand on food production, coupled with the increasing restrictions on firearms licensing, mean that conservation hunting will not be a viable option for everyone but we must all do our bit for the environment. And for my family, we thrive on a hunter's diet of vegetables and sustainable, wild, free-range venison. If you'd like to join a growing number of people who choose to source their own food, like I've done here today, County Deer Stalking and the Capriolis Club are able to show you how to do it. We're practiced at transforming complete beginners into qualified trained hunters capable of going it alone. We also have the ground over which you can do it. Thousands of acres of countryside just like this where for the sake of the environment deer numbers need to be reduced. And if you're already a trained hunter then you can access the ground and others through our syndicate. The Capriolis Club represents the finest club of its type and is committed to the environment via a climate focused diet and to the betterment of species through the careful selection of sustainable, wild, free ranging animals. Why not get involved with this thriving band of conservation hunters and apply to join today? Visit capriodasclub.co.uk. Thanks for watching.